every single year, 3.2 billion trees are cut down just to make things like fashion fabrics, like viscose or paper packaging. There's only a fraction of these irreplaceable forests left here on the island. And every day, more and more of them are falling. And we have a 10 year period is what the scientists have given us to, to turn the ship around. And we're gonna do everything in our power from art to working within the marketplace to ensure that we make that corner. We know that there's so much scientific literature about how vital it is to protect old growth forests and ancient endangered forests around the world. We know that they're 30% of the solution to the climate crisis. We know how much carbon that they sequester every day. We know how many species rely on them. And yet, despite all of that evidence, we're still seeing the provincial government here in British Columbia, and then of course, leaders around the world, not doing what they need to do to keep them standing. And so this project is all about hitting them in a different way of, you know, if they're not going to listen to the science and to, to their heads, maybe they'll listen to their heart and, you know, art is, is a direct route to that. As an artist, I feel it's my obligation, it's my duty. It's something that I fell into at a young age. I, I had many art shows and, and people would come and, you know, eat everything and, and leave and forgot what, you know, forget what they saw. So I, I wanted to really impact the viewer's mind. And one day I was just uh, listening to some music and it popped into my head. People coming out of my paintings, you know, like on a runway. Thanks to Canopy for making this happen. I do think that people need to come out more. You know, get away from your smart devices and come back to nature because nature needs you.